Hello. Uh, a few years back, a few years ago back, a few years back, I um, uh, flew from London to uh, New, uh, New York, hired a car, a little convertible Mustang, and I drove all around Manhattan. And then I headed out uh, across heading um, west, and I headed towards Seattle. Uh, with the, the the plan then being to drive down to Los Angeles. I had a little camera, very much like this one with me, a little radio mic, and I sort of filmed my entire trip. Um, I'm going to edit that journey uh, down into a series of, I'm either going to put it in my vlogging channel or put it in this channel, I haven't quite decided yet. Um, it was designed to be a pitch to a broadcaster back here, you know, presenter, producer goes on the road and gets tweeted to go and visit people watching the program, the viewers, and go and find out cool stuff that they're doing. But um, it's not quite got, happened, but I thought rather than waste it, I would share it with you. Um, this is the, this is gonna be like um, towards the end of the trip. Uh, and it's uh, when I visited, um, a very thinner me, by the way, visited uh, a few years back um, the set or the location of where they filmed Twin Peaks. I hope you enjoy it and uh, watch out for more of them. Subscribe to the channel and you'll see when I upload the rest of them because I have a load. This area is insane. The roads are terrible. Mountains are right, right on me. Oh, this is horrifyingly scary. Good morning. It is six a.m. Uh, my watch says seven. That's because I've gone backwards in time. I'm now in Washington State, and I'm staying in a place called the Salish Lodge and Spa. I think it's pronounced Salish, might be Solish. Who cares? This is a hotel that is built upon a huge, I was gonna say huge, but it's a waterfall, not a huge one, uh, which is just outside my window here, actually. I can hear it, you can hear it too. And um, I wanted to show you this room because it's a, a kind of a fancy place, this. It's a lodge and spa, so the clue's in the title. Um, but if you have a look around, you can see that they, we have a, a, there's a magnificent bed here. Uh, there is a, an, a, a, a standard flat screen television, an enormous fireplace with wood, which you can pay extra for if you want to actually use it. Only $15, and that includes a, a, a bit of a rub down and massage and uh, the valleys at the front. Uh, a little uh, desk area here, leather chair, nice um, uh, like lounging chair over here and through the back there it can there's a um, full-size jacuzzi uh, and sink and of course the obligatory and excellent toilet there's also an assortment of baskets and whatnot where you can have your own coffee but for a change and the first time since I've been in America proper coffee now Starbucks are better in the States than they are in the UK. It's not, not very interesting, but it's very true. Can't see any dead bodies this morning. Oh, no, midges, midges, no, no. Welcome to Twin Peaks, or should I say Snoqualmie in Washington State. It's, this is where they filmed the title sequence for Twin Peaks. They had the sign just here. In fact, I've just walked through it. And in the background, you can see Mount Si, uh, which is just disappearing into the clouds a little bit. It's kind of like that all round here. Uh, you've just got a bunch of greenery, a bunch of wildlife, a bunch of mountains, a bit of road, and it's very, very peaceful. So this is the falls that were also featured, they're actually part of quite a posh hotel, come spa, it's situated, situated over there, and it's there where I'll be staying the night. Good morning. It is 6 a.m. Uh, my watch says 7. That's because I've gone backwards in time. 
I'm now in Washington State and I'm staying in a place called the Salish Lodge and Spa. I think it's pronounced Salish, it might be Solish. Who cares? This is a hotel that is built upon a huge, I was going to say huge, but it's a waterfall, not a huge one. Uh, which is just outside my window here actually. I can hear it, you can hear it too. And um, I wanted to show you this room because it's a, a kind of a fancy place this. It's a lodge and spa, so the clue's in the title. Um, but if you have a look around, you can see that they, we have a, a, there's a magnificent bed here. Uh, there is a, a, a standard flat screen television, an enormous fireplace with wood which you can pay extra for if you want to actually use it, uh, a little uh, desk area here, leather chair, nice um, lounging chair over here and through the back there it can, there's a full-size jacuzzi uh, and sink and of course the obligatory and excellent toilet. There's also an assortment of baskets and whatnot where you can have your own coffee but for a change and the first time since I've been in America, proper coffee! Now, Starbucks are better in the States than they are in the UK. It's not, not very interesting, but it's very true. So, uh, headed out of uh, that area um, and got in the car and headed towards Seattle, which, I've always, uh, which is the place I've always wanted to go to. Uh, there's a lot of homeless people there, or the Bay Area I went to. There were? Uh, there's some! <laughs> there they are! You can see them. And there's another one. Uh, they're, they're quite pretty smart, homeless people. Not that they wouldn't be, but um, they're playing chess, which you don't see much of here in London, that's for sure. So, well done them. This is the Elliott Bay Cafe. And this is where the TV series Fraser, um, the, the cafe in Fraser, was sort of based on the LA Bay Cafe. Uh, there's lots of trees with socks on them. Um, so I went down into the LA Bay Cafe. I've, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Fraser. I mean, I absolutely love it. There's a homeless person there. Like, and I, I, I went down here because I thought it'd be all like set up like Fraser, and it's, you know, with him, his picture everywhere. And in a way, it's quite nice that it wasn't. It wasn't really busy and full of tourists. I was, I was pretty surprised. Or maybe it's such a geeky thing to know that the cafe in Fraser was based on this place. Anyway, back on the road, I saw a sexy car. I'm going to keep this next bit in because it's kind of seemed to be what was going through my mind at the time. So, you know, go with the flow. What have I learned from doing a journey like this? I'm still... I, I don't know. I don't know if this... Filming has been a complete waste of time. I don't know if this is any good. Um, am I just going to do as the tourists do, which is show off where I've been by making this film? Or maybe I just want to justify the cost of being here by making a film that is tax deductible. Um, do I want a pat on the back? Do I want to prove something to myself? And if that's the case, then isn't that what everyone else is doing who are also taking rooms in motels up and down the country and all around the world? And 